That's right, and they're also allowing students to live in on-campus housing as well. And those waivers came as a surprise to some who had already moved in. We know Wisconsin Lutheran College is enforcing masks on campus, but it's a legal precaution they're taking that's raising eyebrows. If the school thinks it's 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 so safe, you know, why why would you, you know, make them sign it? I just I don't know, it just caught me off guard right away. Tom Wachesky says his sophomore son texted him these images of a waiver he had to sign after moving into his dorm. It says Wisconsin Lutheran College has put preventative measures in place to reduce the spread of COVID-19. However, it cannot guarantee that you will not become infected. Students must then initial and sign the waiver, assuming all risks associated with coronavirus, even acknowledging that COVID-19 can lead to severe illness and death. Students I talked to say it doesn't bother them. It wasn't concerning. I guess I kind of expected it going anywhere. Um, I know there's risks involved. It's tough. The college is in a tough situation here, but I think they did a really good job of making, laying out the safety precautions and uh, making us feel like that we could come back safely. Wachesky is not convinced. And if everybody does be responsible and does everything possible, even then I think you know, I don't know. I still think it's inevitable. We love the school. He loves the school. It's a great school. It's a great program he's in. So, you know, we just want everything to work out. Well, Caroline, has Wisconsin Lutheran College explained the reason behind the waivers? Well, Patrick, they sent me a statement saying that they do have a comprehensive plan in place to help prevent the spread of coronavirus. They say that uh, students were asked to review and voluntarily sign those waivers, and they do point out that they do offer students a virtual learning plan as well, so they don't have to come on the campus, Patrick.